Alright, now for the planting. Let's see how that works. So you got to make some indentations for the seed to go in. In both the flats. I'll just do that with my fingers here. And not too deep because I'm just seeding tomatoes. And I'm just barely lightly going to cover them with soil. They don't have to be buried too deep, but they do have to be covered. I'm going to be watering from the bottom or by floating the tray in a reservoir of water each time. So I don't have to worry about droplets of water coming down and displacing the seed. Also, I don't need to worry about droplets of water bouncing disease around the plants. If you farm for a while, disease is, and virus is something that's just inevitable. It, it's a normal part of the course of things in the field and everywhere else. So I'm going to get these seeded up with the big beef tomato that's a large red tomato uh, say 8 to 10 ounce 12 ounce fruit at best um, deep red small seed cavity uh, lots of solids big beef and I only have 250 seeds. There's 200 cells to a tray. So I have a little bit of, of slop. But the seeds are very small, so it's a challenge. I say very small. Not super small, but they're pretty darn small. So one seed per cell. If you are going to drop two seeds in a cell, do it on a cell on the end or outside because if you are going to have a issue with germination it'll normally be an outside cell and that's a couple different reasons um, mostly has to do with hydrating the outside cells will dry out quicker they will have more of an issue with hydration and these are tricky to do single seed I have to tell you say but you get the idea so I'm going to do this all the way through and once I get this all done I'll do another video to show how that works for the watering